can we do about this? Again, my colleague William Darity and I, we have advocated for Baby Bonds, a substantial child trust account program that's set up at birth to address the enormous racial wealth gap. So the notion of what can we do about this disparity, I dare say we can, we can do a lot about it. Baby Bonds are, designated, are designed to provide an opportunity to pur purchase that appreciation at, appreciating asset for all newborns. The program is analogous to a social security program, one over the life cycle. It would provide capital finance for young adults to begin a lifetime of building assets and economic security, independent of the financial positioning and decision making of, family, of the family in which they're born. So some people have accused this of being, quote, child savings accounts on steroids. I reject that designation because child savings accounts are designed with incentives to try to leverage parents to save more for their children as they grow, as they grow and become adults. So I'm not opposed to those programs, but this is different. This is arguing that parent, children should have an independent opportunity for a life, a life chance of building their assets independent of their parents. So these accounts would be managed by the federal government. The program would be universal, but the amount of the account would be graduated on the basis of a child's parental wealth. We envision endowing, endowing American newborns with an average account of $20,000 that would gradationally rise upwards to $60,000 for babies born into the most wealth poor families. The accounts again would be federally managed and grow at a guaranteed annual interest rate of about one and a half to two percent. They could be accessed when the child becomes an adult and used for some asset enhancing endeavor such as purchasing a home, starting a business, or financing a debt-free college education. With approximately four million babies born each year, if the average endowment is set at twenty thousand dollars, the program would crudely cost about eighty to ninety billion dollars a year. This would constitute only about two only about, it would constitute about 2% of what the federal government is currently engaged in spending. Baby bonds could be fully funded by a more equitable distribution of what the, what the federal government is also already spending in terms of asset development. About $500 billion of the U.S. federal budget in the form of tax subsidies and savings are used to promote asset development policies with more than half the benefits going to the top 5% of earners and the bottom 60% of earners receiving about 5% of this allocation. The bulk of this allocation comes from items like the mortgage interest deduction, exclusion of investment income on, from taxation, and annu uh, on things like life insurance and annuity context, and reduced rates of tax on dividends and long-term capital gains, and exclusion of capital gains tax at death. Really, a lot of it comes from the mortgage interest deduction.